Hello, my name is Juliana Letnin and I study chemical engineering on the Federal University of Rio Grande. This video is about a project of the identification and turning of the self-balancing robot I did with my colleague Thais Gitadi. This work is related to the discipline of instrumentation and process control given by Professor Dr. Renato Duta Pereira Filho. Objective Identify for closed loop and turning controls for PPI and PID closed loop for auto balance robot. Material MPU 6050 sensor, Arduino Nano, protoboard, step motor and Lego bricks. Final assembly. The main purpose of the robot is to maintain itself balanced. For that, the MPU sensor measures the X, Y and Z coordinates and then the step motor is responsible for the movement against the fall. Identification First of all, the value of the set point must be known. Here are the corresponding axes of the MPU 6050 sensor. The robot moves along the Z coordinate of the gyroscope. This is the code used to find the set point value. To do so, the robot is set on its stand position and the average of the coordinates is the set point value. Critical gain and critical period. The rules of the Ziegler Nichols second method is to use the proportional control action only. Increase K until reach a critical value at which the output first exhibits sustained oscillations. For that, this is the code used. This is the critical value and this is the robot response. The graphic corresponds to the sustained oscillation given by a critical value of minus 0.038 and also the critical period is 2545 milliseconds. Turning. The PID controller turned by the second method of Ziegler Nichols rules gives. The display table shows the formulas to obtain the parameters of the P. PI and PID controllers. And these are the results obtained during the turning process for closed loop. If a noise measurement changes suddenly by a large amount and then returns to the original value at the next sampling instant, a noise spike is set to occur. To avoid that, the noise spike filter is used. Noise spike filters are used to limit how much the filtered output is permitted to change from one sampling instant to the next. If delta x denotes the maximum allowable change, the noise spike filter can be written as the equation shown. If a large change in the measurement occurs, the filter replaces the measurement by the previous filter output plus or minus the maximum allowable change. In this case, the delta x is 50. P controller. This is the code used on the P controller. And here are the results. PI controller. This is the code used on the PI controller. And here are the results. PID controller. This is the code used on the PID controller. And these are the results.
Performance Index. The Performance Index are used to measure the error performance. There are two types of them, the IAE, the integral of absolute error, and the ISE, the integral of squared error. In this case, the PI presents the best result. This is how it works. And this is how it responds to disturbances, keeping itself balanced. And these are the references we used. Thank you for watching our video.